What is going on guys? My name is Mike and in today's video we are going to be doing the Call of Duty World League COD XP Winner's Bracket Challenge presented by GameStop. This is basically the bracket challenge for, you know, you know, have you ever played the bracket challenge for, you know, fantasy sports or anything like that or even doing the bracket challenge during March Madness? That is the same concept that I'm doing right here. I'm picking who I think will win COD XP this year. So guys, Let's stop wasting time and let's get into this. So, Group A. Who do I think will win in Group A? Um, group A is pretty much a toss-up. These are some EU teams and then some pretty good um, other teams like that. NA teams, I should say. Um, but my guess, my best guess that I have for Group A is I want to see Millennium take the first place. And then I want to take Splice into second place. That is my group A. Moving on to group B. Group B is pretty simple to me. Uh, Rise Nation and then Apotheon. Apotheon, um, you might say Hyper Games might win, um, but I think Apotheon will win due to the fact that they, um, if they show up, they are a top contending team, and I truly believe that. So, Apotheon, don't let me down. You're my team for this, for this group B. All right, so into group C um, this one's a little bit hard because uh, I have to decide between basically chief esports my and mind freaks because I honestly I think luminosity will come out on top uh, but mind freaks and then chief esports um, no respect to fab or anything like that I just uh, think they were put into a pool where they're really gonna have to show up to be able to win this bracket challenge here or any, just win the event they're gonna really have to show up um, but I'm going to give it to Mind Freaks, uh, and that is just on the fact that I think they're just a little bit better. Um, and that's not putting it against Chief. If Chief can show up the way that they have shown up before, I see them coming out on top. But um, they're just really going to have to show up. Moving into Group D. Um, this, this one is... Actually, it's not that hard. I'm actually going to make this pretty simple. And I'm going to say team, it's toss up. I don't know, first or second between Epsilon and Allegiance. And I'm going to go, I'm going to give it to Allegiance. I really am. Um, I want Eps Epsilon to win, but I'm just, I'm going to do the underdog here and I'm going to flip flop them. I'm going to give it to Allegiance and then I'm going to give it to second place to Epsilon. Okay, so moving on to group E. Obviously, we're going to have FaZe Clan. You know what? I'm not. FaZe Clan has not really shown up too much at the recent events. So I'm going to do FaZe Clan as in second place. And then first place goes to Team Elevate. Due to the fact that Elevate, if they show up, they are a top three team. And that is saying a lot. Because Elevate in the last few events have shown up. And I really expect high things from them at COD XP. So Team Elevate is my team in Group E. For first place and second place would be FaZe Clan. All right, so moving on to Group F. Uh, this one is a little bit uh, more difficult because you got some really good teams on here. T Tainted Minds, a great Australian team. Most Wanted, Infused. Uh, people say Infused are coming back. Um, they're going to be strong team. And then there's Team Caliber, which has been nowhere in this game, um, which is hard to believe because they did put in some awesome performances in the pre previous games and stuff like that. And they are a well-known team, but they just have to bring it and COD champs if they want to get through this pool. Who do I think is going to win Group F? Um, I'm going to give it to... Whew. This is hard. Honestly, it is hard. But I want to give it to Tainted Minds. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it to Tainted Minds for first place and Team Caliber for second place. Moving on to Group G. This is hard. Um... I really have to think about this one because um, Orbit's good, Vitality's good, Envious is good. Obviously, I'm going to give Envious. They've been performing in the last couple of events, online events and everything, uh, very well in the last couple of events. So I'm going to give first place to Team Envious, hands down. Now, second place, it's a toss-up. Uh, Vitality is an amazing team. Orbit is an amazing team. And Cloud9, obviously, is an amazing team. Mm. You know what? I'm going to give it to my boys over um across the pond i'm gonna give them my boys across the pond uh you got second place uh moving into group h okay group h is um obviously hands down optic gaming we give that to them first place uh and then 
I don't think I really have much too much competition unless Team Panda can show up. But I'm going to give second place to Complexity, and that is my bracket. So coming out of Group A, I have Millennium and Splice. Coming out of Group B, Rise Nation and Apotheon Esports. Group C, I have Luminosity and Mind Freak. Group D, I have Epsilon and Allegiance. Group E, I have FaZe Clan and Team Elevate. Group F, I have Tainted Minds and Team Caliber. Group G, I have Team Envious and Team Vitality. Group H, I have Optic Gaming and Complexity Gaming. And that is my bracket coming out of pool play. So we're going to save that. Round number one, Millennium versus Apotheon Esports. This is hard. Uh, it's very hard for me to actually decide who is going to win this one. But I'm going to give it to Millennium. Um, just for the reason that I like the roster on Millennium just a little bit more than I do Apotheon. I think Apotheon can pull it off. Um, it's a very even match there. But moving on to the next one, that is Luminosity Gaming versus Epsilon Esports. Um, ooh, this one is also tough to me. Um, I gave Epsilon a chance in this one um, and I think if they can actually pull it off I might want to call the upset here I honestly might but I'm not going to I'm gonna go with luminosity gaming um, team elevate versus team caliber this is an obvious one if team elevate shows up they are a top three team every single time and I will give them the benefit of doubt anytime I'm moving them on team elevate uh, Team Envious is turn, uh, Complexity Gaming. Now, Complexity has made some roster changes recently, and uh, well, obviously it's the same roster they have to have, but they've made, back before, they made some ones that I think they can compete with Team Envious. Yes, but Team Envious has been showing up at the last couple of events, and I think I'm just going to give this to them due to the fact of that reason. They've been showing up, they've been winning tournaments, they have been doing things correctly uh, online and at LAN. Um, Rise Nation versus Splice. Now this is hard. This is the EU versus NA. Uh, this Rise Nation can be one of the best NA teams out there. Uh, they have shown themselves at lands. They have shown themselves online. Uh, same thing with Splice. They can show them up at lands and they can show up online. So this is a battle of who has the better roster. And in my eyes, I'm going to give it to Rise Nation. Um, Allegiance versus Mind Freak. I'm going to 100% give this to Mind Freak. FaZe Clan versus Tainted Minds. Uh, this is hard to me because Tainted Minds is a good um, Australian team. I believe they're an Australian team. Correct me if I'm wrong. They might not be an Australian team. But anyways, FaZe Clan versus Tainted Minds. This is tough. Um, and people are probably yelling at me like, how is this tough? FaZe Clan is amazing. Uh, are they though? They haven't really been forming too well at lands this year on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, it's probably just this game, but um, for this event, I really do not want to give them this win. Uh, I want this upset to happen. Tainted Minds over FaZe Clan. Will FaZe Clan get knocked out round one of the bracket? Uh, or will they actually show up at COD XP? See, that's the thing. Will they actually show up? And in my eyes, no. Uh, it's going to be the same mistakes over and over again. But I'm going to give it to them uh, anyways. I think um, since it will be COD XP's, I think they will just have that that drive to actually win round one. Um, and I'm going to give it to FaZe Clan. Um, Team Vitality versus Optic Gaming. I really want to give it to Vitality because Vitality is an amazing squad, but Optic Gaming is way too dominant in this game, and it's going to be very hard to beat them, so I'm going to give it to Optic Gaming. All right, moving back up to now round two of the bracket. Millennium versus Luminosity Gaming. Um, this is, again, the battle of EU versus NA, and uh, Millennium is an amazing roster, and so is Luminosity, but my boys... And Millennium, I feel like they can pull it off. They are a very strong roster, so I'm going to give it to Millennium. Moving on. Um, obviously, now this one right here. This will be, ooh, this is probably one of the, going to be one of the best matchups if this happens. Team Elevate versus Team Envious. Like I said, if Elevate shows up, they are a top three team. 
when Envious shows up, they are a top three team. Now, this is just a battle of who has the better roster, who has more luck, and who can actually clutch up in those moments. And I'm going to give this to Team Elevate due to the fact that I think they are the stronger roster on a good day. If it is a good day for Team Elevate, they will pull through and they will make it to the final rounds. And I will quote that. If Team Elevate shows up, they will be in the final rounds of COD XP. Alright, so the Sim I Finals Round 2, 3 of 4. Here we go. Rise Nation, Mind Freaks. Who is going to win this one? Um... I'm going to have to give it to Rise Nation. Uh, Rise Nation, like I said, they can perform. They've proved it before. This is this is not an easy decision, but I'm just going to do it for Rise Nation because they have shown up before, and I'm not bashing Mind Freaks at all. I'm just saying Rise Nation can perform. The next matchup, this is the matchup of the century. Everybody's been waiting for Face Clan versus Optic Gaming, and if it happens, people are going to go crazy because I'm pretty sure this is the first time they've matched up on LAN. Uh, this season, basically, of Call of Duty. Um, and obviously, I'm not going to give it to FaZe Clan due to the fact that they haven't performed at all. And Optic Gaming is the most dominant Call of Duty team out there right now. So, Optic Gaming is moving on. All right. Now, who is going to the finals? Semi-finals. Millennium versus Team Elevate. I'm going to give it to my boys over at Elevate because I've been talking them up. And I think they can do it. Um, if they show up, they will win. And I've been saying that since the beginning of this. So, Elevate, moving on to the finals. Opti Gaming versus Rive Nation. The matchup you see all the time in most championships. It's either, you know, Opti Gaming, Rise Nation, Opti Gaming, Elevate, Opti Gaming, Team Envious. Those are usually the matchups you're going to see in championships. And I'm going to give it to Opti Gaming due to the fact that they are the most dominant. And it's hard to beat them. Now the championship. Who is going to win? My boys, Team Elevate versus Optic Gaming. Um, like I said, if they show up, they are a top three team, Team Elevate, and I'm just going to have to put it at that, a top three team. Uh, right now, Optic Gaming is the top team. They are number one, and they have been for a very long time, online, offline, and I just can't not just predict them winning so I have to predict them winning due to the fact that they are the top team I want to give it to elevate I want to say the underdogs could win and they can they just really have to grind the game out and if optic gaming is level-headed and they're competing the way they always have they will win this tournament hands down so my prediction is going to optic gaming all right, so my final prediction for the championship round is 3-2. Due to two. the fact that Elevate can perform, but I think Optic Gaming is just that much of a better team. So it's going to be 3-2. It'll be close. It'll be a final battle for the winnings of COD XP because COD XP is for a lot of money, so everybody will show their best game. If Optic Gaming even hiccups enough, I think Elevate will be able to pull in within that 3-2 to two range. So my final prediction is 3-2. Optic Gaming wins. You guys have made this. I want to know what you guys chose for this bracket. If you guys want to know where to find this bracket, links are down in the description below. But this is my final bracket for Call of Duty Championships XP 2016 presented by PlayStation 4. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you guys did, smack that like button. If you guys have any suggestions of what kind of videos I should make next, leave those in the comments below. Tell me your guys' predictions also in the comments below. And if you guys want Optic Gaming to win, smack that like button. My name is Mike. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.